I started this video earlier this week as breaking biggest mortgage rate drop in eight months. That was this Monday and today's Thursday and the rates are up higher than last week before they dropped. Okay, scrap that and start over. <sighs> now this week's video theme is Welcome back to Don't Blink, You Might Miss It. Don't blink. Don't even blink. So if you didn't hear this, on Friday last week and Monday this week, August 5th, took a significant plunge and got everyone talking. Biggest rate drop in a year. It's just the beginning of an interest rate decline. Then, every day this week, they climbed back up to the high sixes. And like I just mentioned, they're higher today than they were early last week. Up and then down and then up. Boing. Ugh. Okay, so let's break down some of these numbers and see if this is the perfect time to buy and how the heck can you even know? First off, let's talk about these mortgage rates, right? Just for a minute, just like they were last week, around 6.8%-ish. Then they dropped to 6.34, the lowest level in 14 months. That might not sound like a huge difference, but it's actually a big deal. To put it in perspective, buyers are, were, now saving nearly $30,000 in purchasing power compared to like, just like a month ago. That's like finding a hidden treasure chest in your backyard. If you locked in your loan last Friday or Monday this week, ah! let's talk about what's happening in home inventory lately because that's fun. In the three beach cities, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, where I am now, and Redondo Beach, we're seeing so far a 20% increase in total listings overall compared to last year. The inventory from July 2023 versus July 2024. Manhattan Beach, July 23, 59 active properties on the market, 1.7 months of inventory. Manhattan Beach, July 2024, 87 active properties on the market, four plus months of inventory. That's up 47% from last July, and that's good. Hermosa Beach, July 23, 41 active properties, 3.4 months of inventory, and this July, 48 active properties and 2.2 months of inventory. That's up, not a lot, but almost 20%. Now, if you're asking, huh, how did inventory go up in Hermosa Beach and months of inventory went down? Well, supply and demand is still high and inventory is up, so there's more to choose from and more are selling. And that's a good thing. Go Hermosa. Let's go over to Redondo Beach. July, 2023, 78 active properties on the market, one and a half months of inventory. And then July, 2024, Redondo Beach, 138 active properties on the market, 2.1 months of inventory. That's up 76% from last July, and that's good. We need more inventory. Here's the tricky part. While mortgage rates are, you know, eventually going to be dropping, we hope, and the inventory is increasing a little bit, and house prices are still at record highs. It's, it's a strange market, right? Historically, when interest rates rise, home prices go down, but that hasn't been the case. Hey, if you know somebody who like, needs to hear this, just share it with them. Thanks a lot. You know, I get asked a lot, hey, Daryl, why are prices so high, and when are they going to come down? Well... First, we've been underbuilding homes for decades, leading to chronic shortage. Second, many homeowners, you know, they're locked in low mortgage rates during the pandemic. Remember that? And they're hesitant to sell, and that's further limiting inventory. And thirdly, inflation has driven up the cost of building materials and labor, you know, impacting new construction costs. By the way, if you're thinking about selling and or buying a home, I'd love to chat with you and show you how I can help you achieve, you know, your real estate goals, whatever they are. Who you work with really matters because we are are all not the same. The super fun question is, so should you sell now? Should you buy now? The short answer is, it depends. It always depends. If you're financially prepared and ready to commit and you find a home that you love, then this could be a good opportunity because lower mortgage rates and increased inventory are definitely factors in your favor. However, it's essential to consider the long-term interest rates. You know, they could potentially rise again, like we saw this week, and house prices might not drop at all. And we all know that when rates drop into the 5%, all the people sitting on the sidelines will be out looking because, well, causing multiple offers, buyers are gonna be paying over list price. So I tell everyone, if you can do it now, then get into the market sooner than later. It's super crucial to work with a knowledgeable local agent, me. You know, who can help you navigate these complexities and make, you know, informed decisions. Cause it's tough. Like when I told you last Friday, block your interest rate today. One thing about the South Bay real estate market, it's always true. It's consistently changing. What's true today might not be true tomorrow. And that's why staying informed and working with a local expert is crucial. Cheers.